Welcome to Great Five Learning. This is Teacher Maria Cello Avila of Hanyang, the Great Five Teacher. We are now in Quarter 1, Week 1 and 2. It is based on most essential learning competency, used to properties of materials, whether they are useful or harmful. Kayo'y matuto Magandang araw mga bata Ako nga pala si Teacher Shelo Ang guro sa ikalimang baitang Our subject is science By the way, what is science? Science is the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. Our lesson is about properties of materials. What is property? In science, Property means a characteristic or trait that you can use to describe matter by observation, measurement, or combination. I appear different pictures found at home. Name each picture and identify it according to what are they made from, as glass, wood, metal, rubber, plastic, or fabric. Are they made up of plastic or fabric? What is your answer? The correct answer is plastic. Let us proceed to number two. Look at these objects. Are they made up of wood or made up of metal? What is your answer? The correct answer is metal. They are made up of metal. How about these objects? Are they made up of glass or are they made up of metal? What is your answer? The correct answer is glass. These bottles are made up of glass. How about this spatula? 
Is it made up of rubber or made up of wood? What is your answer? The correct answer is wood. Spatula is made up of wood. How about these tires? Are they made up of rubber or are they made up of glass? What is your answer? Correct! Tarts are made up of rubber. Glass, wood, metal, rubber, plastic, and fabric are some physical properties of materials. When we say glass, it is hard, brittle substance, and usually transparent. These are the different examples of materials made up of glass. Can you give your own examples? Another one is wood. The trunks are main, main stems of trees as suitable for architectural and other purposes. These are some examples of materials made up of wood. Another one is metal. It is an elementary substance, usually heavy and solid, that can be drawn or hammered, melted by heat, or charged with electricity. These are the different examples of materials made up of metal. Next is rubber. It is elastic substance obtained from sap of a tropical tree. These are the different examples of materials made up of rubber. Next is fabric. It is a woven cloth. These are some examples of materials made up of fabric. I have here a problem. What are the properties of materials do we use at home? The materials needed are pictures of objects made from glass, metal, wood, rubber, or fabric. Are you ready? These are the different directions. Study the pictures, then write three words that describe the object. You can use your notebook to answer this activity. These are the given features. We have ribbon, a pair of scissors, and a plastic ruler. Describe these objects in three words. Take your time. Okay, let's check your answer. For letter A, Ribbon. It is soft. It absorbs water. It is made up of cloth. Do we have the same answers? Next is a pair of scissors. It is hard. It is sharp. It is made up of metal. And for the third object, a plastic ruler. It is hard. It is uneasy to break. It is made up of plastic. Materials have different properties according to their uses. These properties are hardness, softness, brittleness, absorbent, waterproof, flexibility, durability, transparent, conductor of heat or electricity, and insulator of heat or electricity. The first special property of material is hardness. It is measure of how much a material resists changes in shape. Hard things resist pressure. These are some examples of materials that have hardness. Number two is softness, the quality of being easy to mold, cut, compress, or fold. These are the different examples. Number three is brittleness. It describes the property of a material that fractures when subjected to stress but has a little tendency to deform before rupture. And these are the different examples. Number 4 is absorbent. It able to soak up liquid easily. And look at the different examples. Next is waterproof, impervious to water. Look at the different examples. Mm -hmm. 
Next is flexibility. A quality of bending easily without breaking. These are the different examples. Next is transparent. It allowing light to pass through so that objects behind can be distinctly seen. Next is conductor, a substance, body, or device that readily conducts heat, electricity, sound, and etc. These are the different examples of conductor materials. Next is insulator, a material that does not easily transmit energy such as electric current or heat. And these are the different examples of insulators. Now, choose your answer from the box. Write your answers on your notebook. We appear pipe guide questions. Number one, why is it important to know the properties of materials? Number two, why do we need to take extra care in handling materials made of glass? Number three, why are materials made of wood used to make tables, chairs, and doors? Number four, why metals are used to construct roads, bridges, and buildings? And for number five, why diamond is used to cut other solid matter such as tiles and glass? These are the choices. Because they are stiff and hard and can't be bent easily. Because it is known as the hardest matter on earth. Because proper handling of materials require knowledge of its properties. Because they are very strong and do not wear out readily. And the last choice, because they are brittle and might cause us accident. Take your time to answer this activity. Now, let us check your answer. For number one question, why is it important to know the properties of materials? The correct answer is, it is because Proper handling of materials require knowledge of its properties. Number two question, why do we need to take extra care in handling materials made of glass? The correct answer is, because they are brittle and might cause us accident. Number three question, why metals are used to construct roads, bridges, and buildings? The correct answer is because they are very strong and do not wear out readily. For number four question, why diamond is used to cut other solid matter such as tiles and glass? The correct answer is because diamond is known as the hardest matter on earth. And for the fifth question, why are materials made of wood used to make tables, chairs, and doors? The correct answer is because they are steep and hard and can't be bent easily. Once again, this is Teacher Shello. I hope you learned something from me. Goodbye children! See you on next meeting!